How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to focus when you're studying. But before I start, do you hear that little background noise, a little humming sound right there? Let me go get that and show you what I'm doing. This is my dehydrator and I have a whole bunch of figs in here that's dehydrating. So whenever you're studying, you gotta make sure you have a little bit of snacks around just in case you get hungry because when you're hungry, it's really hard to concentrate. I'm gonna leave that off right now because we're recording, but let's continue. Now, when I was studying a lot in college, oftentimes I would go to a cafe or go to a library, whatever it takes to leave the house if there's a bunch of roommates around or something, there's a lot of distractions. Sometimes you just cannot study at your home because it's too comfortable. You have too many distractions at home, at your apartment or something. You have video games, you have internet, you have people that would come around and bother you. So if you're park yourself at some place where you know people don't know you're there and you don't have easy access to a bed or you know food you want you're cooking or something then you can more easily concentrate on studying now with cell phone these days people get easily distracted because you can just pull it out oftentimes i would see people just have their phone laying right there next to what they're doing, just in case they get some message. And as soon as they get a message, something beeps and then they're like, you know, they get distracted from whatever they're doing and they're looking at their messages instead. What you can do is turn it off for certain durations at a time if it's difficult for you to turn it off. So I would recommend maybe like one hour at a time, you turn it off and then you go back, turn it back on to check, make sure there's no emergencies or something like that. Of course, you have to be on call for whatever emergencies that makes things harder because you have to leave your phone on. In that case, you might want to turn off all the notification off everything else except phone rings and just, you know, put your phone upside down so that, you know, other kinds of distraction won't prompt you to look away from whatever you're doing, whatever you're studying. If you have to study at home, sometimes you have games or computer, I would recommend to go to your dining table because then you're not at your desk where you have games, where you have access to all these you know, fun things basically if you're a computer person, then if you're at a dining table where you know normally you just eat, instead you just study there, it might allow you to concentrate a lot more because there's less distraction over there. If you do not have a dining table that you can use, you could possibly move your laptop away, just kind of put it in a closet or something, or if you have a desktop, just put it on the floor. It serves as a good way to make like the activation energy of using the internet a lot more so that every time you need to use the internet, you won't be tempted to pull the laptop or the desktop and put it back on your desk because this makes things difficult rather than have it right on and turned on sitting in front of you while you're studying. If the monitor's turned on, you can just go very easily, just you know, switch task and go, oh, let me check something. This would cause um, distraction to be a lot easier so that you know every little distraction you can go, oh, okay, let me look something up, then you would you know, go on the internet. And before you know it, you would be spending a lot of time on the internet and not studying at all. The next thing you can do is have a really good study partner. Sometimes a study partner is not so good because I've had these myself before. You go study with someone like a friend, a really good friend. And once you sit down, you start, end up talking. You, you just talk the whole time rather than studying. So you have to be aware of those kind of partners where you end up not studying, you both get Fs together or something. Then once you realize you have those kinds of study partner, you really should you know, plan ahead and just kind of know, okay, if you're studying with this person, you're not really gonna study. You're just really hanging out. Studying is kind of like meditation. There's a lot of parallels with this because when you're studying, you're essentially concentrating on one topic and there are a lot of distractions around. So whenever that happens, you are prompted to not study anymore and look at something else. Many times when you're studying, if you're distracted, you tend to switch tasks very, very quickly. And you do not even know that you got distracted because the distraction itself switches all your mental capacity, all your thought process into that. You don't think that you're being distracted. So when this happens, you might get distracted for, I don't know, five minutes, sometimes half an hour, sometimes you won't even notice and it'll be like one hour, two hour before you go, oh, okay, I'm done with the distraction and then you go back to your studying. Meditating is kind of the same thing. When you're meditating, you have a task at hand and when you're doing it, all of a sudden, sometimes these kinds of thoughts just pop into your mind because when you're very, very quiet, 
things pop into your mind and you start thinking about it. Now, if you're a really good meditator, once you realize that you are thinking about something else, you would very, very quickly switch back to your meditation task. And the more advanced a meditator you are, the less time it takes for you to um, switch backs, which is the time it takes you to realize that you are being distracted. So you see the parallel here. If you're studying, you're concentrating on something, and as you get better and better at studying, then you'll realize sooner and sooner that you are being distracted, then you can more quickly switch back to your task at hand, which is studying. If you're a novice at studying and you get distracted easily, you would switch task, do a whole bunch of things. Maybe you end up doing that distracting task for the rest of the day and then you end up never studying and there are people like this but with practice and it takes practice to realize that you're not studying now there is a little trick that you can do if you're not very good at meditating or noticing that you're not studying which is set an alarm for half an hour or one hour i know this might be distracting uh, but if you get into a distraction for long periods of time this might be a good thing because you might get caught um, being distracted and your alarm would go off and then you'll look at your alarm and this is your studying alarm. It'll be like, oh, you're or double check that you are actually studying. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, shoot, I am uh, distracted after all. So then you can, um, it's kind of like a reminder to uh, get back to the task. I hope these tips help those that get distracted easily studying because if you're trying to concentrate, there are tricks to doing it like the ones I described. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know other tips that you use to keep yourself focused while studying. If you're interested in supporting this channel, and I'll be very, very grateful if you do, which is to get this free audiobook, just try it out. And you can keep this audiobook even if you cancel the subscription service and you can still help benefit this channel at the same time. You can support my channel directly through my Patreon link over here where I give various perks at various contribution levels. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.